Okay. Hi. Today is September 20th, I think. Yes, 2021. And I'm making this video because I'm doing something very meaningful at the end of the week. And I thought it would be cool to document me getting ready um, for that. It is very much going to be a journey. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. So at the end of this week, uh, this weekend, if all goes well, I am going to start my lock journey. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am going to be saying goodbye to my straight hair that uh, is freshly cut and colored. <laughs> Which I'll get into why I cut it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be saying goodbye to straight hair. And I'm going to be starting the journey of locking up my hair. Um, often known as dreadlocks. Um, but for short. Um, affectionately known as locks. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And I've always thought about it. But... Um, it's been something that's been in the distant future for me. Um, I said that I wanted to start my lock journey when I turned 50. Well, I'm not quite 50 yet, but some things happened uh, outside of my control that have kind of thrust me into this uh, journey early. And one of those things is that I started uh, having um, severe shedding in my hair. And um, it was progressive, I think within a year. It was very noticeable to me um, and to my uh, beautician that I go see every two weeks. Shout out to Tori. Um, I have been natural for... 10 plus years, which means that I haven't had any chemicals put in my hair other than color. Okay, because these grays, honey, these grays. Um, but I've been generally just wearing it in a blowout. Basically, when I go to get it done, she straightens it, blow dries it, straightens it, and um, gives me a little curl or what have you. And I basically wear it like that until I see her again in two weeks but like I said I had been experiencing some shedding and uh, hair loss and um, it was due to a lot of different components of one being um, a very a, a huge shift in my hormones I was um, pregnant last year um, and um, I had to get a DNC, which is um, removal of the fetus after the fetus has not um, survived. Um, and I believe that that was one of the things that kind of kick-started my body into major freak out. Um, my hormones were at an all-time confusion, confusing state, my emotional um, balance was off. Um, of course, you know, we were still in the throes of pandemic and COVID and all of these things, lockdown and all of that. And so I think a culmination of all of those things, um, my emotional state and mental state started to manifest with my hair. And I felt very vulnerable. Um, 
and I wasn't sure if I was making it up or if it was real, but this past month, um, it was really noticeable to me. So much so that I said to myself, why am I waiting to take this life journey? Um, I don't want to fight anymore with holding on to these stereotypical westernized perceptions of what beauty is. Um, I don't want to wait anymore for things that I want to do now. Um, and everything in me kept saying, do it. Um, so, I immediately started looking up locticians in the area. Um, I started researching the process and what it will take, what I needed to know. And uh, my husband came home one day from the barbershop and was like, hey, honey, I met this um, lady who cut Jim, uh, Jackson's hair. And, you know, she's a loctician. And I told her about your hair and da-da-da-da-da. Next thing you know, I'm sitting in her chair and she is doing a consultation <laughs> on my hair. So to get ready for her, I went to my beautician that I've been going to for the past seven plus years. And I said to her, which I was really nervous about because she's my friend. Um, I'm getting ready to do this thing. So this may be the last time you see me. Um, but color me. Give me a good trim of all of the raggedy ends at where my hair had started shedding and breaking and all of that. And um, wish me well. So here I am, starting the countdown, this journey of freedom, liberation, oneness with who I truly am and what I've always seen myself to be. Um, I'm coming for you, Marcy. And I can't wait to start. So, as a part of my getting ready to um, have my lock install, I had to um, wash my hair and let it air dry. And um, only thing I can really put in it is a little bit of oil. So I did that. I twisted it uh, just so that it could not be everywhere. And um, this is uh, new for me, but what I can say, because I have to go out today, um, is that I feel a different kind of beautiful. Um, not that one is better than the other, but, um, I feel a different kind of beautiful. I feel, um, of course I feel natural. <laughs> I do feel beautiful, but, um, I think it's important to know. I've been doing a little research too, that, you know, your lock journey is a journey. So you have to go through these steps of you know, kind of um, dealing with yourself in every stage of the process. And so this is one of those stages. So I thought I'd check in and share that with you all. So 
the morning, <laughs> I go to my installation appointment today. Um, I'm kind of I'm nervous because um, as I've been looking at my hair these past two days. Maybe a Howard. Yeah. Uh uh. It's pretty straight still. Like my ends are really straight. Um, I don't know if you all can tell, but anyway, I feel like I don't know what's gonna happen. I might have to um start with a cut. I think another I cut. A chewy. I said that. When another I cut and maybe I have to wait a little longer. I don't know. Are you ready to eat? No, 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 no. Say bye bye. Bye bye. I know I look a whole hot mess. Um, but um, I just wanted to check in. I am on my way to my lock appointment. And <clears throat> over these past couple of hours that I have been messing with my hair and picking it out and looking at all the damage, um, I'm getting nervous now that she will not be able to, um, to make it work. So uh, let's get real right now. And I'm also like feeling some things about the texture of my hair and you know kind of like saying goodbye to the straight um and whew, what am I gonna look like what am I gonna look like um am I still gonna feel beautiful uh I certainly don't feel beautiful now of course because this is not uh presentable in my opinion so I'm just I'm just feeling the things. I'm feeling the things. Mm -hmm.